It has been my dream to speak from the TED platform and now my dream has been fulfilled. Even if one person in the whole world who listen to my talk and is influenced, I'll be very happy. Why does an accomplishment dominate many lives? Is it the reason that our tasks are tougher than our will or our will is weaker than the task? My answer is negation in both the cases. Then what stops us from achieving something? Why do we fail to bend the horns of failures? My answer is the weakest failure dominate our strongest will when we are in the lap of fear. Hence, the weakest failure dominate our strongest will. Hence, there is failure. Have you ever wondered why does the heart beat faster when we hear the thunderstorms or why does the palm sweat when the teacher announces the pop quiz? It is because of the fear that's present in our hearts. Now, what is this fear? Why do we feel it? Is it some kind of magic? Of course not. Fear is one of the most basic emotions. It is programmed into a nervous system and works like an instinct. From the time we infants, we are equipped with some survival instincts which are necessary to respond with fear when we sense danger or feel unsafe. There are many types of fears, like fears of spiders, also known as arachnophobia, fears of heights, also known as acrophobia, and many more. We all have fears from time to time, no matter how strong we are or how brave we can be. When you want to attempt something, there will be this thought in our minds. What's going to happen if I fail? Soon, after the doubt creeps in your mind, it's impossible to move forward. Our nervous system rings the danger bells and will not be able to complete the desired task. Failure doesn't have to be some huge publicized event. Failure can be a small event that stops us from taking initiations. In fact, our past impressions of failures makes us lose our courage. But with every single failure, there's an opportunity to learn and correct it before we take the next step. With every failure, there's an opportunity to learn, grow and move forward. It's better to fail to learn from our mistakes. Now let me tell you some tips to conquer fear. Number one is to find support. Surround yourself with people who support you wholeheartedly. Number two is to make the company of people who guide you when you are in the state of confusion. Number three and the most important is to celebrate the small victories. Celebrate it. Enjoy its reward. This will keep your passion ignited. Now, there will be some people who will be thinking, what if I am not good enough? It doesn't matter if you are not good enough. What matters is whether you trust yourself and if that answer is yes, nothing is impossible. Negative thoughts should circuit our minds, so don't give any room for these negative thoughts in your minds. Now, there will be some people who will try to demotivate you by making you believe that you cannot do it. Take that as a challenge to prove them wrong. Let me show you my own story that definitely will give everyone a hope. Actually, I never spoke on stage, even if I had the opportunity of speaking. Then, as time went by, I was fed up of myself. I made the decision that I have to move on. Then there was this poetry competition in our school and I took part in it and eventually got selected for the second round. And the second round was on stage. I was nervous as I am also one of the victims of glossophobia, fears of public speeches, but I had made my mind. On the day of competition, everyone were given numbers. Mine was the last, so I was happy. Soon many friends of mine spoke and eventually it was my turn. When my number was called, my legs started shivering. Even my hands and at last my whole body. My heart was beating 10 times faster than it usually does. My palms were all sweaty. Then I went on stage and I said, Good morning everyone, my name is Aksa and I forgot the poem. I was embarrassed, I was all red, I just said thank you and ran down off the stage. That was one of the worst days of my life. After going home, I cried of thinking how idiotic I am, how stupid I am, I'm useless, I'm not good for anything. I made my mind that I will never ever go on that stage again. This was my pathetic story. Do you all know why I wasn't able to speak on that day? It was because I didn't have faith in me and had fear in my heart. My fear stopped me from reaching my dreams. Later, keeping faith in me, I threatened my fear run away from my mind. Now, I am the fear factor for my own fear. You know, sometimes life gives you lemons. You just have to figure out how to make a lemonade out of it. I did it, and today I am giving my talk so confidently in front of you all. And it was only because of these steps that I followed. And today, I want to share those steps with you all.
Number one is to find your passion. Find the goal that you want to finish. Find the task that you want to accomplish. Number two is to be confident. You need to be confident about your goal. You need to believe in yourself. Passion and confidence are the two weapons that we must have in our arsenal. Make fears run away from the roots of your mind. Let fear have fear of you. You know, life is too short to wake up with regrets. So love the people who love you. Forget about those who don't. Believe everything happens for a reason. If you get a chance, take it. If it changes your life, let it. No one told you that life is going to be easy, but they just promised it would most likely be worth it. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great day ahead.